Yeah, she wanted to go and did a coat okay, for you. Okay, everybody, two minutes to showtime. Let's go. I'm, yeah. Here, let me take those. Okay. Hey, Jackie, who's yeah. roasting tonight? I don't know. Uh, some silent screen star. Never even heard of him. Boy, they really dig him up, don't they? Last yeah. week it was Burt Reynolds, and tonight it's some 130-year-old actress. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've gone from the naked to the dead. <laughs> Excuse me. Is this the testimonial roast place? <laughs> Sorry, buddy. You must be in the wrong studio. Kojak auditions are down the hall. <laughs> I'm not auditioning for Kojak. I'm here to see that all is in preparation for the great Miss North Desmond. The great who? Mm. <laughs> you mean you do not recognize the name of North Desmond? The greatest film star of all time? Gee, uh... Sorry, Miss Desmond, I must have missed your pictures. Come on, sit down. You fool! I'm not Miss Desmond. I am Mex, her director, her consultant, and for the past 50 years, her living. <laughs> I will go get Miss Desmond. Madam, they are ready for you, madam. <laughs> Did you get me a good table, Max? Yes, madam. Good. We have the best seat in the house. Of course. Right here, madam. <laughs> Do not be upset, madam. Do not be nervous. This is your evening, madam. All these people have come here to pay tribute to you. They love you, madam. You are the greatest star of all time. Let's try this one. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2174th Testimonial Roast. Tonight, honoring Miss Nora Desmond. I told you, madam, they love you. And now, here's your host, Jackie King. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. We're here tonight to honor Miss Nora Desmond. This is uh, quite a change for us. Most of our guests of honor are usually living. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Nora Desmond, she's a great star. She was a great star on a silent screen, but she's also known for her work on the stage. Yeah, she was a driver for Wells Fargo. <laughs> How dare you make jokes about the great Nora Desmond? We did not come here tonight to be insulted. Hey, 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 take it easy. Don't you understand? This is a roast. We do this to everybody. Madam, it's not everybody. She's one of the greatest stars of all times, including theater, movies, and Scorpaton. <laughs> Scorpaton? I, well, I'm sorry. We were, we were just doing shtick. Well, Madam does not like shtick. <laughs> what is it, Max? He was doing shtick, Madam. I don't like shtick, Max. Don't worry, madam. There will not be any more cheap saloon antics tonight at your expense. Oh. Not be well, I, I, uh, I was, I was going to do more, but uh, I see by the old clock on the wall that we're running a little late. <laughs> so moving right along, uh, our next speaker that I'd like to bring to dais is one of the funniest ladies in all show business. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Phyllis Dillis. Oh. I must say in all sincerity that I love Nora Desmond because next to her I look great. <laughs> <laughs> She's the only woman on earth besides me who wears prescription underwear. <laughs> Amazing. She's now in the 19th year of her seven-day beauty program. Yeah. 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 The grandma does not wear prescription underwear. Oh, uh, I, we can see you're all choked up, Phyllis. <laughs> 
Now, uh, I guess most of the uh, speakers tonight seem to be dying, uh, literally. <laughs> so I call to the podium a surprise speaker, a man who has known Miss Nora Desmond better than any of us here tonight. Her director, her companion for more years than most of us have been alive. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Max von Stroheim. <laughs> I am totally unprepared. I have not had time to prepare a fitting tribute, madam. Max, Max, you must do it. You've heard how they've ridiculed me by... Max, they all think I'm crazy. Do you think I'm crazy, Max? <laughs> of course not, madam. Then you must get up there and tell them of my greatness, Max. Yes, madam. <laughs> I have known the great film star, Nora Desmond, for 50 years. I have directed her in 12 classic motion pictures. The world will never see another like her. She is unique. She is not only a lady of incredible theatrical talent, but she is unmatched as a human being. She is dedicated. She is involved. She is committed. At least she should be. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of you don't appreciate how great this lady is. She has contributed immensely to show business. She has made Hollywood what it is today. A depressed slum. <laughs> <laughs> Although she is most famous for her great dramatic roles, Nora Desmond also has a tremendous flair for comedy. Yes, she has a lot of funny lines. Unfortunately, they're all on her face. <laughs> and she has a great figure. I remember when she used to wear a big cup. Now she wears a beast saucer. <laughs> right. Yes, I know not. There's always been a soft spot in my heart for you. I think it's gas. <laughs> But I want to tell you, I want to tell you, this is not the best looking girl in the world. On Halloween, I send her out, as is. Uh, <laughs> what are you doing? Not now, madam, I'm on a roll. <laughs> well, uh, well, uh, well, some of us are still alive here. Let's, uh, let's get to the moment that we've all been waiting for. Ladies and gentlemen, our guest of honor, the late Miss Nora Desmond. <laughs> you have all had your little jokes. I can't compete with you. I am Nora Desmond. I do not tell jokes. I do not do shtick. <laughs> I am an actress. <laughs> A silent screen actress. You see, in those days, we didn't need jokes. We didn't need dialogue. We had faces. <laughs> yes, the screen was big then. But it's little now. Oh, yes, I know exactly what's going on here tonight. And I know what you people have been saying about me. You're saying that I'm a, a crazy lady, living alone with her memories in a mansion on Sunset Boulevard. You're saying that I've gone bananas. <laughs> that I'm not playing with a full deck. That I'm a nut burger. <laughs> That's not true. I know why I was called here tonight. I know. Therefore, I will accept this Academy Award. <laughs> Believe me, it wasn't easy playing the part of General Patton. I had to live in ditches. <laughs> I was wonderful in the... What? Madam, this is chopped liver. You can't take that. Then you take it. Ah. <laughs> 